Evening all. Um, this is just a little sand bit I use for testing. Because uh, it's a lot quicker than fasting around with Cordo all the bloody time. Um, is all it is is uh, an HTML file and a JavaScript file. If I show you the HTML first of all, uh, it's just a basically standard header. Um, we've got a button there, we've got a field. Oh, look at that, giving you preview already. Ta -da. Um, yeah, we got a field there, uh, we got another button there, uh, and another button. Now these have uh, got on click events, so they're called the various functions. Um, and these basically are just fields for the output and a canvas there for the picture. And that's just for you, man. Um, and that's basically about it. So if we look at a JavaScript, I thought, well, not thought, but. It's easier for me if I just create a JSON array on the fly as it were instead of downloading it. Um, so here we're just going to build it up with key value pairs, that's all. And uh, I've put three sets in as an example. Um, basically, that, that's the standard thing, you know. Oh man, I keep getting that error. What is it? Bloody thing. Um, Um, right at the top, uh, we're declaring a, a value there just to hold the index of where we are in this array. And we're originally going to set it to number one because well, it makes sense to humans, doesn't it? Um, this is a pointer to the array that we're building into. Um, as I say, there it is. There it is. Uh, point is to our canvas. Um, at this point, we want to check whether the DOM content is loaded. And if it is, what we can do is we're just going to set the original value of index to 1. Uh, then we're going to create the JSON array, which I just showed you. Um, we're going to set our pointers to our canvas um, so we know they are. We'll just get element by ID, and obviously that's the ID number, but you know that. Um, these are our functions for previous. Uh, basically is all we're doing is uh, we're going to decrement the index value. Um, excuse me. We want to uh, now update the value in there, update the field. Um, basically and this gets the JSON array depending on what we put in as the index value. And this basically is the opposite. Instead of um, decrementing, we're going to uh, increment. And that's all the same. This one points up to the original get JSON button. Um, so as all that does, it gets our index value and whacks it over to uh, the get JSON items. So on here, is all we're doing is we're accessing the JSON object, which is that. We're using a number for it, so that's going to be naught. That's going to be one, as it says on the screen, and that's going to be number two. Um, and then there, well, after we've got these values, we're going to uh, we're going to update the slot, and then we're going to draw the canvas, and we're going to pass the value of pick, which we got from the JSON already. And then there you go, we're going to draw the canvas. Um, so at this point, I'll get the JSON and kick it off. Da -da -da. Right, here we go. Basically, I got the JSON array. We want to alter the index, just don't forget it starts at zero now, doesn't it? Um, so I'll whack it through, look, index zero. So we're going to get our first item, da -da. our second item, our third item and our picture. So you can see there that all the values are set. Um, so if you look up there, we're just going to update them now. There you go. One, two, three. Bang. Okay, oh, there's our first picture. And then, as I say, after that, it's all set up and running. Um, there's a second item. There's a third item. Go back. 
gave back, job done. Um, so, a recap basically is all doing is that's the pointer to the JSON object. Um, that's the index value. It's either that one, that one, or that one. Right? And the value of it as well. Number. So it's returning that, basically. Um, pence price. That's the key. That's the value. So it's returning the value. That's all we're interested in. Um, so simple as that. 